Welcome to Yogisa Yoga and this 5 minutes yoga routine that challenges your lower body while you train and tone your glutes. Breathe in and on your exhale, forward fold. Find half moon lift. Breathe in and lift the hands overhead for chair pose. Breathe out and sit back with strong legs in Utkatasana. Keep the lower back straight and lift the heart. On your next exhale, forward fold. Breathe in, find halfway lift. Bend forward and lift all the way up to mountain pose. Breathe in at the top and swan dive forward. Find halfway lift. Breathe in and lift the hands overhead and sit back in chair pose. Place the weight on the heels and lift the heart. Lower the shoulders and keep the core tight. Breathe deep. Exhale and slowly forward fold. Breathe in and find halfway lift. Bend forward and lift all the way up to mountain pose. Swan dive to forward fold. Find halfway lift. Breathe in and lift the hands overhead and sit back in chair pose for the last time. Make it as strong as your first. Keep the legs together. Straighten your lower back. The tailbone points towards the mat. Lift the heart. Exhale and slowly forward fold. Breathe in and find halfway lift. Bend forward and lift all the way up to mountain pose. Good job, now it's time for yogi squats. Place your feet mat distance and squat down in malasana. Use the elbows to lift the chest and press the legs out. Breathe in to the hips. Ground down and prepare to squat down 8 times in a row. Breathe in and straighten the legs and lift the arms overhead. Breathe out and squat down in malasana. And repeat. Try to do 8 or follow your own rhythm and do as many as you can today. Use your glutes and strong legs to lift with power and lower down with control. If this exercise is hard on your knees, do regular squats instead. Come down and rest in Malasana. We will do 8 more. You can do it. Breathe in, lift up, straighten the legs and lift the arms overhead. Breathe out and squat down in Malasana. Lift with power, lower down with control. Keep the back straight and the core strong. Three more, you can do it. Three, two, one, nice. You did it. Lift up and shake it out. Then sink down in goddess squat. Get deep in your hips and keep the back straight. Lift the right heel up. And lower down. Lift your left heel up. Use a strong core to find balance. And lower down. Now lift both heels up. And lower. One more time. Lift the right heel up. Stay deep in your hips. And lower down. Lift your left heel up. Keep the hips in the same level. And lower down. Lift both heels up. And lower. One last time. Lift the right heel up. And lower down. Lift your left heel up. Keep the focus. Be a goddess. And lower down. Lift both heels up. And lower. Shake it out. Now it's time for the last challenge. Breathe in and sit back in chair pose. Shift the weight to the left leg and toe tap your right foot out. Move the leg back in. Shift the weight to the right leg and toe tap your left foot out. Move the leg back in. Straighten the legs and breathe in. Breathe out and sit back in chair pose and toe tap your right foot out. Move the leg back in. Shift the weight to the right leg and toe tap your left foot out. Move the leg back in. Straighten the legs and breathe in. Breathe out and sit back in chair pose one last time. And toe tap your right foot out. Move the leg back in. Shift the weight to the right leg and toe tap your left foot out. Move the leg back in. Straighten the legs and breathe in. Breathe out and sit back in chair pose and hold. Rise and shake it out. Bring your hands together at heart center and thank yourself for completing this challenge. And I thank you for letting me challenge you. Namaste.
Did you like this yoga sequence? Visit the Power Yoga playlist for more physical demanding routines that gives you a versatile and good workout. Do you want to focus on mobility in the lower body? Try a routine on the hip opening playlist to strengthen and stretch the hips. Find more fun yoga challenge on the challenge playlist. Use the videos to measure your strength and to see your progress clearly. Don't forget to give back by pressing the like button and comment down below what you thought about the video or what you'd like to see in the future. And the most important of all, make sure you subscribe to my channel and activate the notification bell so you never miss a video. It helps me out a lot so that I'm able to keep on making free yoga content for you. Namaste.